All right, folks, this is how my firewall and cowl turned out. Not too bad for a rattle can job. And again, I am no bodywork professional. I'm just trying to save myself some money in time when I bring this to a body shop to get the outside all done up. That's why I'm doing firewall, the cowl, and underneath the car. Just trying to save a little bit of time and money later on down the road. Hey folks and welcome back to Shaggy's Car Shop. So as you can see, I have painted my firewall and clear coated it. Um, I've been a bit under the weather for the past four or five days and my voice is finally coming back. I did all of this on Sunday morning. It's hardening up pretty decent. It's dry to the touch. I say it doesn't look too bad for a rattle can job. So what I used was Duplicolor Perfect Match and it is Universal Black. Um, in my last video I said I sanded it down with some 400 grit and 600 grit. I just ended up hand sanding most of that after I used my orbital, orbital sander uh, to knock down my body filler over here. I just hand sanded it because of all the nooks and crannies. Knocked it down with 400 and then 600. And I didn't feel like filming that because, well, I couldn't really talk. So I hit it with four coats of this. And then for my clear coat, I use this 2K Max. Um, it is a 2K clear coat. Has a little... Um, doodad that you put into the bottom shake it up and i think it came out very very well i'll show you some close-ups when we get later on into the video but this is what it turned out like as you notice i still have primer down here that's because i'm going to do a nice line along here and i'm going to raptor line the whole bottom side so i had to get this done first before i started working on the underside of the car again to Raptor line that. All right, folks, I'll bring you in for some close ups and show you what it looks like. So, as you can see, it's got a pretty good gloss finish. There is a little bit of orange peel on there, but I'm not worried about that. It is a firewall, after all. My seam sealer line came out pretty good. I wasn't intending on it to be a perfect flat line. I wanted to be able to see it just knock it down some. You can see a little bit of ripple over here where well, I didn't get it perfectly smooth where my airbox used to be, but that's fine. Now I did underneath right in here and on this side because that is where my subframe connects and I didn't want Raptor liner on all of that. So I'm going to do my tape line down along here, come up, come right along, and just go around. And then do the rest in Raptor Liner. Alright folks, now I'm going to jack my car up a little further, because it's been on jack stands for the better part of two years. While I've been doing this and get it to where I can easily get underneath so I can prep the underside for all of the sanding and prep work for my Raptor liner.
All right, folks. So as you can see, I have the body of my Firebird sitting on jack stands. It's leveled out all the way around, but I need to raise it up probably another foot or so. I have these larger jack stands I got from Jags. They are a six ton and they go up to 23 and a half inches, supposedly. I don't think I'm gonna raise it up that far, but I need to raise it up just far enough to where I can get under there to spray my Raptor liner. So basically is what I'm gonna to have to do is go around, raise it up one or two clicks at each jack stand all the way around. All right. Now I mentioned earlier, these jack stands are 610 jack stands. Obviously the shell of this car doesn't weigh six tons, but they are the only ones that I found that were big enough to be able to go up high enough. Plus they double down for good jack stands underneath my diesel, which happens to weigh eight or 9,000 pounds. So. Alright folks, I gotta lift it up a little bit more, uh, so now I have space to scoot around underneath it and spray. Let's take you for a ride underneath and show you what's next on the list, the long list of things to do on this car. Alright. So again, as you can see where the body bolts up here, I have this area painted and clear coated and then somewhere along in this area is where my raptor liner line will be so in this area i seam sealed these seams but i have to spray some primer on it i'll wait till i get my firewall taped off moving further under the car So, where the back of the subframe mounts up, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to paint this, clear coat it, along with my pinch welds. And moving on back. Same thing for the passenger side. Paint the pinch welds and paint this area where the body mount goes just so there isn't any raptor liner in the way another area is my transmission tunnel where the shifter goes through same thing I'm gonna block this off and paint that moving further back so up in this area this is where your rear springs mount in, into a cup. Now I have subframe connectors for this car that will connect my rear end with my subframe and that is all one piece that mounts up here. When I get to installing those you'll see what I'm talking about. But this area also I am going to paint and clear coat. Same thing with the passenger side. As you can see, I already seam sealed it. I just need to hit it with some more primer and make sure everything is good up in here. My parking brake mounts will be painted and taped off. And moving back 
into the rear end tunnel. So some areas back here where the gas tank mounts up, same thing. <coughs> and you can see where all these breather holes are for your trunk drop downs and your wheel wells. I'm gonna paint around those just so I can get those little plastic and rubber plugs in without any difficulty. Otherwise, the rest is just gonna get Raptor lined. So one thing I haven't covered much was this rear cradle from Ride Tech. So I have this four mount or four link cradle and it came with bolts to put it in and all they were was some self tappers that just go up into your frame rails and I did not like how they held. So what I did was get them up, get this thing up into place and I just welded it into place. I figured that was going to hold if you're throwing a little bit of horsepower and torque at it rather be safe than sorry but that's why i have it taped off it's a nice powder coated piece you can see right here this area i'm not as worried about but where my mounts go and everything like that i have it all taped off and then when i raptor line it i'll just peel that tape off and it should be good to go And last but not least, where my fuel tank filler neck goes through, I'm going to paint that up and get that so there's nothing around any of those areas that's going to hem me up later. And then for the hard part of this job is I have to go and rough up everything on the bottom side of this car. Make sure it is nice and rough so that Raptor liner sticks to it knock off any little spots that I have may have missed with primer and things like that and then also I had a little bit of body filler now I seam sealed this seam on both sides but I'm just gonna put some body filler over it and make sure it's relatively flat and work these areas I'll probably bring you along for a video on that, but it's not going to be fine bodywork. As again, I said, we're raptor lining it, so I'll just feather out the edges and then it's going to be roughed up. All right, folks, thanks for watching Shaggy's Car Shop. Sorry I didn't bring you along for the rattle can job on my firewall, but as you can hear in my voice, I'm still a little bit under the weather. I am feeling much better than I was at the end of last week, but please don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching the video. We'll see you on the next one. Thank you.